Hi and welcome. This is the producer here from Nerdy Couch and today we are going to go over the closet. So the closet so far seems to be all about a family who the next day will be moving across country to Oregon. Within this family we have Tom, he's the father, Maggie, the mother, and Jamie, their four-year-old son. So Jamie has been having nightmares for what seems like a pretty long time. He's totally convinced there's a monster in his closet, and it's going to get him. Tom, on the other hand, is like, nah, this is just the normal little kid nightmare stuff. So he's not exactly taking it serious. Like, not taking it serious to the point of not getting help from a child psychologist who his wife Maggie asked him to call. Instead, he's positive that this move will fix it, as he says... They won't even have that closet in Oregon. As we can see by the end of this book, he's totally wrong. These two parents have a pretty vile dynamic. Throughout this whole issue, we see a power struggle between Tom and Maggie. This leads to huge fights between them, lots of yelling. And behind it all, we have Jamie alone in his room, scared and seeing monsters. I mean, is this a trauma response? Is he actually seeing a monster in his closet? It seems so. We get to see this damn creepy monster as it comes to him. As of yet, neither mom or dad have actually witnessed this alien looking monster. So it's hard to say if it's real or not, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Overall, I'm super intrigued with this first issue. It's got a pretty cool story, and I think we'll have lots of twists and surprises. I'm not so fond of Tom. He's kind of bitchy and constantly whining about getting in trouble with his wife. Grow up, dude. Also, Maggie seems super mad at Tom, but we're not sure yet where that's coming from. I can't imagine her being that mad about him getting the wrong kind of tape. This kid, though. Oh, my heart goes out to this kid. The way it's written, it just, I just want to burst into their house and hold the little guy until he feels safe. Here's hoping in the next issue, mom and dad settle their shit and acknowledge there's something very wrong with their kid.